Hi there, I'm Gemma and today I'm going to tell you all about my exploration into making some wearables that incorporated tech, um, which is quite an exciting area. I love robots and I love space, NASA, building things, but I didn't actually study computer science um, or engineering or electronics. And I found when I went and started researching interest what I consider to be interesting things clothes that did something that lit up that moved it was kind of quite difficult to find out how to actually do it in a very simple step-by-step -step way um, there were lots of really good YouTube um, ideas but none of them quite did what I wanted so um, I learned the hard way and I'm going to share this with you so that hopefully you don't have to be scared of it because there's some amazing stuff out there um, and it's just waiting for us to play with it. Okay, so the thing that I decided I wanted to make was a jacket um, and I wanted it to have lights that glowed but that actually kept with a really really tight colour palette so rather than just incorporating a string of fairy lights or um, a pre-made Christmas tree thing that would go like red green red green red green in a kind of made pattern I had a very specific idea as designers often do of what they wanted um, and I thought it would be beautiful if I had something that would just slowly shift between a very limited palette so I wanted it to be reds and pinks and oranges I actually started off thinking oh I want to go green and blue but then the palette changed so um, yeah I wanted it to match something that pre-existed and I have also been investigating Arduino um, which is a kind of programming system that's very simple uh, well relatively simple um, but it's a good first step into being able to build things yourself that do things that make things one of the things that Arduino um, have released is an amazing set of sewables um, technical things that you can literally just sew into your clothes using conductive thread and instead of having to solder things together you just sew them together which is amazing The other thing that I really wanted to do was to make something that was going to look as pretty when it wasn't all wired up and flashing as it does when it actually glows and looks amazing. So this is the jacket. Um, as you can see, it just kind of looks pretty cool. It's got a nice uh, butterfly motif there, um, which is been beautifully cut out layered up with a little twinkly fabric and some velvet you can see it's beginning to distress a little because i've worn it quite a lot now and it looks cool but just as that you know you can wear that around and it looks pretty damn amazing um however if you wire it up um turn the battery on it looks like this All right, so how did I get it to do that? Well, the first thing I did was I got myself a little Arduino um, base computer um, and it really is tiny. It can be sewn into your project. This is what it looks like. It's tiny. It's about the size of my thumb. Um, and that is actually going to program it's going to store the information send it out um, to the other things so I can actually put my computer via a nice lead write everything on the computer the program download things from the internet whatever works for you uh, download it into that and then that will run whatever I decide the jacket needs to do and the wonderful thing about doing it this way is it doesn't have to be red and blue um, I could do colors that were green and yellow and all I'd have to do is change the color values in my lines of code 
download it into that and magically it would all change and work like that. I want it to just be simple monochromes, white flashing lights, amazing, it can do that too. And I don't actually have to re-sew, I don't have to change anything. Um, because what I'm using is these wonderful little contraptions. These are called NeoPixels. Um, and these are like the little LED lights that are gonna that light up and flash and do things and they can go any color at all and um, you get to decide what color they are going to be in the coat which is amazing as I said I'm not a computer sciencey person I do have some friends that are and I have to say I did end up asking them for some help along the way so the first things that I did was to actually build the jacket it was a really really cheap jacket from a charity shop just a long boxy black leatherette coat and I cut it off short so that it would just be like a little bolero I used the bottom section cut lots and lots and lots of strands made that into the fringing slit open the arm seam inserted the fringing all the way down just to make it a bit more punk a bit more bikery because that's more my style um, after I'd done that I cut out the lovely butterfly shape, inserted some gauze because if you just put an LED or a light straight behind something all you get is like a little dot. That's okay but what I actually wanted I was wanted these colours to diffuse and I wanted a really elegant as if it was glowing from inside it was butterfly wings but they were on fire. Okay, so I wanted it to glow and the best way to do that is to layer something that's going to diffuse the light and just spread it out. You know how when you have um, rain on a window pane and suddenly although everything is just a little bit blurry, it does the same kind of thing. So what I used was a thin layer of wadding um, and that was going to just diffuse all of my things. So I designed the motif, cut it out, did all the applique, stitching all round every single section. Then it was time to do the sewing together of all the electronic parts. Now the sewing together of the electronic parts was pretty scary because um, I can sew, but um, I can even solder, but I don't really know an awful lot about uh, putting things in series and parallel and all those electronic -y terms. So I went to YouTube and I had a really good look through some handbooks and things and I kind of adjusted what I saw on that um, other people's projects and kind of worked out which bits needed to stitch to which bits and this is what I ended up with and you have to make a really good connection with each of the metal bits so I went over and over with the conductive thread and then just like a simple running stitch to the next component again attached it down with an over and over thread um, there's some really good useful tips and tricks in some of the books they'll tell you to do things like tying a knot and then sealing it with a tiny weeny little bit of clear nail varnish so that it doesn't come unthreaded which is a really good tip and that makes a good connection so I'd recommend reading those basics um, before you get stuck in Okay, so all my components are now sewn together. I've got the little Adafruit 
Arduino at the bottom where I can get to it easily and attach the batteries. Then I've got all the NeoPixels going round. I've got eight NeoPixels and they've got two lines going between them all. Um, and it's all been lined up carefully with the positive and negatives joining the appropriate one all the way. As I say, there's some good basic tutorials out there for that. Next, it was the programming section. And I have to say, that was the bit that I found really tricky. Um, so I took some pieces of code that I found online in some of the Arduino um, repositories. I downloaded the um, program to help you write. I've never written code before. This is all totally brand new. I'm not a genius. I just kind of fudged it together. Um, it isn't hard. The worst thing is being scared of it. Don't be scared. Um, so it's all quite straightforward. It tells you what to do. You know, download this thing. Oh, I've downloaded that thing. What do I do next? Oh, I'll take this bit, put it here. Um, just kind of use logical steps. Don't get frustrated. Keep calm. Of course, inevitably, I got it to do almost what I thought it should do. And then it just flashed like a Christmas tree at me and um, made me feel very frustrated. Fortunately, I do have um, a, a good team of useful people who can code. Um, so I sent out a help and one of them, the amazing Dave, um, ended up spending a couple of hours writing some really cool stuff for me um thanks also to uh, ben and scott who offered helpful suggestions of assorted helpfulness um we basically sat all evening on a message board um just between the four of us and sent back um interesting things and as they wrote code i uploaded it um, put it into what i was doing um, we saw how it flashed. Dave would go, ah, that's what that does. And then he'd write a different bit of code, email it over to me. I'd upload it again. We'd try again until finally, magically, it worked beautifully. I mean, obviously, I was making it do something that you know, wasn't easily accessible, but why go in if you can't do something difficult? There are loads and loads of forums of people to help with these kind of things. Um, don't struggle by yourself. People will rally around and give you really good suggestions if you're just willing to make a couple of steps in the right direction. So that's my threepence worth of tech. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's inspired you to do some stuff. This was quite a complicated project. There are much, much easier ways to start in on um, your adventures, but sewing things together is really exciting, especially when you push the button for the first time and it all lights up. So get involved, have fun, and uh, Arduino rules. <laughs>